G'day everybody, I'm the Tyrant fucking King and welcome to the Imperium. I hail from the wastes of Western fucking Sydney and I'm playing Darksiders bloody free. Now let's get into um, big picture mode. And it's overblown bullshit title. And let's go to library using my controller. As you can see, I have a lot of shit. We're going to play Darksiders free today. Booyah. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, this is going to be a little while before it launches. I've never opened it before. And, oh, fuck. Allow access. Anyway, let us begin this bullshit. THQ Nordic. Hello. Start the game already. Alrighty then, we're in. Yes, and we're gonna, and I'm gonna, and I want a nice kick in the balls, so I'm gonna play Apocalyptic. I think I'm bloody stupid. Alright, I'll be silent for the opening credits.
shit. Anyway. Well. Let us have a test of these moves. Is there anything around here? No, it doesn't seem like anything here. Graphics would look pretty good. Fuck yeah. I have played both games before. Darksiders 1 and 2, and I love this series with a passion. My friend has... That's just me holding the X button. Anyway. Anyway, my friend has actually played, has actually read the Abominable Vault, and I, I uh, uh, should mention here, spoiler alert, I might reveal what's happened in the other two games, as well as what might happen in the Abominable Vault. I have not read it, so I'm going off by word of tongue to ear. Anyway, Yuri is the third horseman we've ever played as. We have not played a strife, we have played with its weapons. Anyway, let us play this game. For all enemies, you release soul lurches upon death. Blue lurches act as currency. Green lurches replenish your health. And yellow lurches fill your wrath bar. Interesting. Oh crap, two of them. Alright, they're dead. They're dead. Good. Any souls in here? Nope, no souls in them. And no souls in them. Disappointing. Um, looks like a horse, so. Um, Interesting indeed. This is my first time playing this and I'm playing on Apocalyptic. Cool. It's dead. All right. Seems I only have X as an attack. Seeing anything here? No, just an endless pit. Well, that's fucking boring. Anyway, let's just kill these enemies. Who this game was quite hard. Might be harder than I expected. This could be harder than I expected. Anyway, anything here? He's dead. Excellent. Good die, motherfucker. Ooh. Healing shard. Now, I've watched some walkthroughs in this game, so basically, I have to look everywhere. And that uh, this game apparently plays more like a Metroid style, which I've never played Metroid, unfortunately. Perhaps in time I will. This will be my, uh, I should mention, this is my first video. Okay. 
Okay, I don't want apocalyptic, so fuck me dead. This is gonna be difficult. From much of the walkthroughs I played, they've mainly played in the second difficulty. Oh, no, oh. that's bullshit. That's bullshit. I'm pressing the uh, mic to me. That's retarded. Pressing the X to jump to the next platform. I thought it would be A. As you can see, I haven't pulled. All right, so just let go of X. That's fucking helpful. That's fucking helpful indeed. Alright, if I record, this will be the first boss battle with, what's her name, Envy. Fuck you, Fury. Well, shit. She just pile drive me through the floor. Uh, oh, fuck. Well, I failed. Oh, great. This is going to be fun. Well, I fucking died. Fuck. 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 Now, well, this is gonna be fun. Yep, I just fisted myself, didn't I? Oh my god, really? I have to start from the fucking beginning? You piece of shit. I believe 
the stuff in the fucking beginning. This is fucking bullshit. Oi, dickhead. Come here. You want a little taste of raw meat? Alright. Alright, from what I recall, Fury is a battle maid, so dodging is her bread and butter. While War is more like a sledgehammer. Um, I've played as War, he's fucking fun as hell. His dodging is a really pathetic, he's literally a literal tank. He's literally a tank. Basically, he's a sledgehammer, few weapons, quite powerful. War can deal with any weapon whatsoever can handle any weapon and he's still effective. After master this dodge mechanic. I don't know much about strife at all, but he's done. Die, motherfucker. I bitch slap you. Die, motherfucker. Die, die, die. Yeah, he's dead. Alrighty then, now for the boss battle again with this bitch. Oh, fuck me. Alright, Envy, you fucking hoe. Ah, oh, yeah, Bemga. Alright, then. How about you look my boot, you fucking bitch? Remind me of... Alright. Alright, I'm doing better this time. Don't miss. Die, you ho! Time to die, motherfucker. Die, die, die. Ah, yeah, Bem. Alright, what are you gonna do, motherfucker? Oh, no, she's... Yeah, you're not that impressive, love. I'm gonna fucking rip your anus out. I'm gonna rip your heart out right through your anus. Well, I missed for a bit of it. Alright, die, bitch. You're gonna be my hoe! Green with envy, How the fuck did you know that would happen?
the talisman of sin, eh? The talisman of sin will guide you to the deadly sins. It is displayed at the top of the screen directed towards the nearest sin. The skull indicates the nearest sin and the dot indicates other sins that are currently accessible. So that's fucking, fucking brilliant. Alright, let's regain our soul, shall we? All 65 of them. Well, 200 of them. Ooh. Alert your crystal. These crystals are a crystallized collection of spirits can be shattered in your inventory to acquire souls trapped within them. Is there anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Time to get out of this fucking hellscape. Ooh. What is this? A healing shard. Lovely. Let's heal up. Get out of this fucking dungeon. Alright, from what my knowledge is, this is more like a Metroid style with one super dungeon with smaller dungeons within them. I've never played Metroid, so... Alright then, now of course I will be revealing what happened in the other games as well, in order. So basically war declared is blamed for the apocalypse, though that isn't true. If you play the other games, it's actually the destroyer's fault, aka Absalom, who was leader of the Hellguard, if I recall. Oh, that's a bottomless chasm. Yeah, so the leader of the Hell God thought that heaven would is so under is so underpowered in the war to come that he wanted to start the war early. And well, kind of failed. He thought he was a he could have tricked the council that the council knew. And well, war somehow got sent to Earth. I'll reveal this later in a in a later video, of course, that war was sent to Earth basically to heed the call, though this was wrong, and he, everything that transpired with the apocalypse is blamed on him. The most brash and, well, honorable of the horsemen, which is why death is missing. He wants to save his brother from the fate that the council wishes upon him. And spoiler alert, he gets in prison for over a hundred years. Yeah, sucks to be him. Into the chasm and the excavator. Well, that's sad. Not. Alright, I have to be more... Alright, is there anything over here? 
Oh shit. Yes, there is. What is this? A small lurcher clump. Lovely. Well, he dead. Die, bitch. Nothing there. Right. Well, you did too. They're dead. Not too wrong here. Another healing shard, always helpful. What's in here? Oh, jack shit. What's up here? Well, they're dead. Oh, I can't go up there. But I can go up here. These first wave of enemies, not too difficult. They're dead. Good. Oh, this is where I was, so uh, nothing over here, is there? Oh, there's a look, there's something over there. How do I get over there? Well, there's something here. Yep, I smacked the bitch. Something up there. Ah, fuck. Might have to get a hollow. Which will be explained later, but is there anything anywhere I can go over there? Might have to have a power up to get over there. Anyway. Um either the storm or maybe fire hollow. I have watched walkthroughs so I know what the hollows are. Don't worry. We'll explain those as we go along. Anyway, Fury is the third of the horsemen, as I said earlier that we've played. We've never played a Strife. Hopefully we get to learn more about his motives in a future game or in this game. I'm not sure if he will make an appearance or not. I doubt that will be the case. As with most of the games, we only stay with one horseman. Okie dokie. There seems to be nothing here. Anyway. Beautiful. Is there anything down there? Doesn't look to be. So we can go forward. Okie dokie. Fury has a whip. Which I don't think is as... Judging by these early game throughs, she's fun to play with, but her whip isn't as satisfying as Death Scythe's or War's Sword. The Chaos Eater. Which is my favourite of the three. So far, followed by Death Scythe's and... The whips of scorn, actually. No, that's, that's what you go here. Alright, so we have health, strength, and arcane. Okay, let's have a look. Health, the amount of damage and fury can sustain. 
percentage strength is the percentage of bonus physical damage fury deals so by x or y attack so we get actual strong attacks like normal and the percentage of bonus is arcane damage fury deals arcane damage is dealt on evade counters charge attacks wrath attacks and havoc forms so we would love to upgrade these but i think physical attack and health will be the ones we'll be mainly focusing on i would love to focus on arcane once a bit later in the game And we don't have anything other than Nephilim Respite, this bullshit, and no hollows. Alright, Nephilim Respite, well, actually, let's read this. Crafted by death, he gave this flask to his sister as a gift long ago. Punishes itself by absorbing life energy from fallen enemies. Though not as skilled as the makers themselves, death was accomplished crafter in his own right. With most of the Nephilim focus on weapons of war, he endeavoured to create something that gave life. When he had finished, he offered the flask to Fury, who penchant for her seeking danger was well known. Jamariah. I guess that's the guy who wrote about it. However, Death doesn't craft jack shit in the second game. Spoiler alert again. Though I already said that earlier, so if you've been listening to me through this whole video, then fuck you. And, well, the fuck you is to those who fucking, well, didn't want me to do spoilers, which I am going to fucking do. So kiss my ass if you wish. Oh, look, a hole. She's on her knees at the moment, crawling. Oh, my. Anyway. Alright, I should probably mention what my channel was about too. Alright, after I kill this fucker. Alright, my channel, The Imperium, which I am the Lord Commander of. Well, it's all about playing games and having fun. And I will swear a lot because that's me having fucking fun. Die, bitch. Die, motherfucker. Die, just die. Um, ready then. No, it's not necessary. Huh? It's supposed to be. Oh, look, there's a secret area. Alright, uh, I guess I can't go into this yet. Might have to get. Alright, I know. Alright, I won't bullshit. I already know I need the um, Force Hollow to get this. So, this is a backtrack area. Set in memory. Good. Let us continue, eh? Oh crap. Might as well do a ref respite. Alright then. Let's heal up a bit because I know what's coming. I have to kill this bitch.
Well, I'm gonna fucking die. Well, I, well, I didn't die, but I killed the cunt. Okie dokie. What do I have here? Fortify enchantment. Enchantments can be socketed into a weapon from your inventory. Alright, so the start button. A socketed enchantment will confer a active benefit to the weapon and passive benefit to fury. Yo. I guess I can't go there yet. Well, I guess I can't go there yet, so fucking. Anyway, oh, there's something up there. And I can't reach it. I probably need a hollow for that. Anything up here? Um, and it's useless. Alright, I got a healing shot. Is there anything here? I should probably check around here. See if there's anything. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Anyway, let us continue, eh? Okie dokie. Nothing here so far. Oh, look, there's a fucking tree. There might be something in there. Oh, this is entrance. Die, bitch. What do we have here? Strength chart. Fucking oh. Fucking oh. Anyway. Let's continue. Probably the way I stutter a lot and all that shit. Well, I'm probably drunk. No, I am drunk. But that's because I drink. And I'm naughty, so fuck off. And I killed them. Good. That means there's something here. Yes, there is something here. What is it? Is it a lurcher? Yes, it is. Fuck off. I want adamantium. Which I will get later. Hopefully. Anyway, let's go over here. See what is here. Oh, I've unlocked Havoc form. Temporarily call upon Fury's Herrick form to decimate foes. Well, alright, so that LB and RT. While in this form, Fury inflicts massive amount of arcane damage. Interesting. Alright, oh, something here. An alertia. So useless to me. Anyway, let's go around here. Oh, what's you? Yes, I can't get that yet. Uh, 
I'm just gonna kill them. Anything here that I can get? No. Where am I going? Fucking Volgrim, you fucking bastard. Volgrim Plinth. Fury can be collected souls to Volgrim to earn attribute points. Attribute points can be spent in Fury's character menu by pressing that. And Volgrim has allowed you access to the Serpent Holes. This Asian network of pathways flows throughout the world and beyond. Fast travel between Plinths. Thankfully, you don't have to walk through them. Might as well do both. Alright, what's the end? An ancient blessing from the creator himself, channeled by a forgotten race of all ones in a single shard. Soon the fate of strike, fury, health is partially restored. Since the creation, their creation. The angels have served every corner of existence from science for the creator. Very rarely they will discover monuments blessed by his word. With the aid of the old ones long since lost to history, the angels turn their blessings into miracles. Not to turn back death or even turn demons away from darkness. Jamara. Who is this Jamara? Pisa. Fucking... So I have attribute points. I want them. Let's get to level 3 on that just straight away. I have to go up there. I'm just going to go back just real quick. Just to see if I need to go. And no, I'm not going to unleash the Havoc form just yet. Yeah, but I don't need to go back. Just had to make sure. Anyway, let us go. E onward to yonder in glory for the for the horseman. And I stuck got stuck beneath a wall. Fuck me dead. I guess I have to go up there sometime, but I don't know how. And I'm on apocalyptic. This doesn't seem much difference, judging by the footage I played. Ooh, there's something over here. Oh. Fuck me. Fuck you, Gr Volgrim. You ugly son of a whore. Well, I can go over there, though. Ooh, there's something here. What do I have? More lurchers. Piece of shit. I need, and I fell. Like a bloody bulldollar that I am. 
fucking hell. Fell. Oh, so bloody obvious. I can't believe I didn't see it. Fucking hell. And he died through the wall. Oh, it's a lurcher down there. A lot of lurchers down here. A healing shard. That will be helpful. Oh, there's a lurcher down there. Alright, since I can't go through there just yet, I think I might need the fire hollow. A lot of places to backtrack by the look of it. That's no, okay. Oh no. I died? Fuck you. You piece of fucking shit. No, don't tell me I have to go back. To Volgrim? No, please, no. Please, no. Don't be that. Don't be so... I went back to Volgrim. You empty Michael. Oh, at least I got those lurches, but now I have to get them again. Oh, that's fucking retarded. Anyway. I may not be able to get those shards again, but I can at least get something, some more souls from just farming. Yep. They have to get all my fucking souls again, you piece of fucking shit. Oh crap, I fucked myself. Alright, is there anything over here? Oh, another one. Okay, I think I need the storm holler for that. A lot of backtracking, it seems, in this game. Up here, no. Wait. No. Nothing. Fuck me. I guess in the next cutscene, that's when I will um, end the video, but let's get to that, shall we?
Shit, I didn't see him. Time. Shit, I'm gonna die. Oh no, this guy's gonna kill me. Die, motherfucker. Die, just die. Alright, good. Alright, I guess I can't go that way yet. Might need to have the Storm Hollow or something else. Oh, look, I have another Storm thingy, Bobby. Large version. Oh. And then something down here. Fuck yeah. My god, I literally need to go to Lou. No, 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 not yet. Nearly there, nearly there. Nearly at the Oak of Ages. Anything down this way? No. Empty fucking saucer. Died twice. Oh look, a Volgrim portal. Oh my god, I'm gonna piss myself. I had to get to the fucking next cutscene. Black Hammer. Fuck you, bitch.
Bridgestone. An ancient stone edged with ancient maker magic. It allows the instantaneous transportation of any human directly to Haven. Well, let's just have a quick talk. Alright, I guess she's gonna die. And him too, because I don't seem bloody. What are I doing here? I have no idea what all things are doing. Alright, Barbara Squawn, I need silver or sliver of adamantine, at least two of them, to increase it. 78 damage. Alright, um, hello. Let's shatter all of these. Right on for this unfocused fortifier, angelic artifact, or demonic artifact. Why don't you work, you bastard? Yeah, Bem go. I wonder what's in over here, real quick. Because I'm going to walk everywhere here. Might be a hidden lurch chest or some bullshit. Wow, that basically did nothing for me. Guess I'm gonna destroy random shit. Alright then. Come on. I don't know why I can't fucking move. Anyway, I think that'll be it for me for today. Anyway, I'll explain later on in another video who Olfane is, probably the next video. Excellent. Now let's quit the game. And get out of big mode. Um, and get a big picture. Anyway, hope you enjoyed my first video. Anyway, this is the Tyrant King signing out. Come back, like, and subscribe to my video, and send it to your friends. Anyway, bye.